everyone, once again, uh, this is part two of three that I'm bringing to you where I'm interviewing famous uh, holistic sexuality educator, Sherry Winston. And she is the founder of the Center of Intimate Arts and the author of the award-winning book, Women's uh, Anatomy of Arousal, which is the 2010 Book of the Year Award by ASAC. And uh, in the first video, we talked about the different parts of the erectile tissue of the female vulva. And um, I want to ask you, um, Sherry, um, what is the importance of arousal to you? Well, I think there's a couple different components of it. I first, I think it's important to understand what arousal is. Uh, arousal is an altered state of consciousness. It's a trance state. And it's where we leave the sort of mundane, rational thinking part of our brain, and we go into a different mind-body state. And so when we think of it as an altered state or a trance state, we can start understanding that uh, in order to become aroused, the set and setting are very important. If we don't feel safe, for example, we might not be able to go into that altered state. That would just be one of the many factors that affect how we go into that state. Not only that, arousal, you can think of it as having sort of levels. There's like... Um, early arousal where we're just starting to get turned on and then we could get to sort of mid-level where kind of medium turned on and then high level arousal which would be the almost having an orgasm state but arousal is even a, a bit more multi-dimensional than that because it's also about how deeply are we in our trance uh, at each of those sort of steps on the stairs so you could be at a fairly high level of arousal. You could be at like a, on the eighth step of the, of, of the 10 steps of arousal. You could be all the way up there. But if you're not deeply in your trance, the phone rings and boom, it's like you fall off the stairs. But if you're, uh, if you're say at step eight, but you're really deeply in your trance, the phone might ring and you wouldn't even hear it. You wouldn't even notice. And so how we how we move into that trance, how we deepen it. Um, these are all skills. These are all learnable skills that we can develop. We can learn how to enhance our trance. What are the things that we need to do internally or can do internally to enhance it? Um, and what can we do externally? So how can we create an environment internally and externally that's going to allow us to go deeply into our arousal trance, which is where the best sex is going to happen. Does that make sense? Yes. So this, uh, in a nutshell, people, is the importance of arousal. You get into an altered state of uh, consciousness, and uh, you are much more likely when you're aroused to be able to get an orgasm. And that's not going to happen when you are busy, stressed, tired, overwhelmed, or mm -hmm. burnt out. And uh, we're going to have another video and I'm going to ask the very important question that I have. Um, and uh, Sherry was very good in being able to answer it in my radio show. So I really wanted her to answer it properly so that more people will be able to um, benefit from her wisdom. And so this is the reason why I'm putting it up on YouTube. And the third question that's going to come out in the next video mm -hmm. is uh, what's going to happen um, when there's numbing in the vagina and that's very important it's very much linked to pain and trauma and so I'm going to ask Sherry in the next video and be sure to check her out at Intimate Arts Center that's C-N-T-E-R dot com and she has lots of freebies on her website I'm a subscriber mm -hmm. as well I love her work and I love her and uh, that's why I'm uh, doing this a special series with her so be sure to go to her website intimate arts center.